Hello my friends, welcome to my channel Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy, thank you so much for being here. Today is Angel Reading Monday. I do an angel reading every single Monday. They are all timeless and I have created a playlist for them. So if you like this style of reading, know that it is timeless when it is finding you. It is for you if it resonates and you can feel free to check out that playlist and just scroll through and see if anything jumps out at you knowing it is timeless. There may be a message for you if something resonates, okay? So feel free to check it out. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching. Let's go ahead and get started. I would love for you to subscribe and join my community here on YouTube if you like this style of reading. Okay, so I have Mother, Father, God showing up right away. What is in my friend's strength position? What is in their strength position this week? Yes, and Mother, Father, God. Okay, wow, love it. So I feel like, get one more card. In your strength position, in your strength position, what are you, what, is, what are your angels acknowledging as your strength this week? You're doing the work. You're doing the work. Love it. So for some of you, I feel like two messages here. For some of you, I feel like you feel a calling. You feel a calling from the universe, a calling to do something or to go somewhere. There's something here that you're saying yes to. I feel like it's a call. I feel like you're you're being called by the universe to do some 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 sort of work. And you're saying yes with the yes card here, which is beautiful. And your angels are acknowledging that this is your strength. So I'm loving I'm loving that for you. Well done. I would love to hear what this calling is, you know, um, if you care to share. You don't have to, of course, if you don't want to, because that's personal. But if you care to share, I would love to know who I'm reading for. Comment below and let me know what, what do you feel called? What do you feel like you're pursuing that the, you know, may be coming from the universe that you're saying yes to? Um, when we say yes to the universe and the call of our soul, be prepared to be blessed. Because it's like you're working... For the universe the universe is going to take care of you so i feel like for some of you that's what's going on here either that or it's going to get it's coming you know so you may not be there yet but you'll remember when you hear this reading you'll remember when this happens <clears throat> so for the rest of you i feel like you've been doing a lot of inner work and that is what the angels are saying well done because there's been you know so much healing going on so much heaviness in the energy with the <laughs> at the time of recording this it is april 15th right now but you know with the the planetary alignments all the stuff that we've been going through mercury retrograde the eclipse season all of it has been really really triggering a lot of inner work and having to get through all of the inner work and dealing with wounds and things that you've been doing that inner work on you know has been nothing short of courageous and so you should be very proud of yourself for this inner work that you've been doing so i feel like your angels are saying well done giving you a high five acknowledging the inner work and so what's happening here with you getting through all the you know the work and the healing that you've been going through you've got a big fat yes on the other side of this that's coming from the universe and it's like something that you have asked for is is coming into place because of the work that you've been doing so that could literally be anything it could be love it could be a job it could be some sort of financial increase it can be whatever it is that you're asking for you've got something coming in because you've been taking the time to do the work on the inside healing through wounds working through old belief patterns old negative thinking whatever it has been and you're coming out winning and your angels are saying absolutely acknowledging and well well done let's see what your heart has to say what does your heart have to add to this reading here? For my friends watching this reading at the right time, let them have the right message at the right time whenever it is for you. What does your heart want you to know? So 
So for some of you, it's romance. And it required you to look inside and accept and love yourself. Because very often, and so much so in my community, I have noticed, we have a lot of old wounds, you know, things that we've gone through in the past that really damaged that self-acceptance, damaged that self-worth, being in connections that just hurt us, that, uh, you know, really took a toll on our self-confidence, our self-worth, our self-acceptance. And some of us didn't even, don't even love ourselves, or didn't, because I see that you've been doing the work. So I'm going to say past tense. Some of us did not even know how to love ourselves. Therefore, we attract people into our life. And maybe this was a pattern that you've had to really get control over in your past, a repeating pattern of attracting in connections that reflected that low self-worth. They just damaged it even more and made you feel even less about yourself right? But that's the work that you've been doing and your heart is wanting you to say well done on that because you learning how to love and accept yourself is what is bringing you an alignment in love that is beyond anything that you have had in the past. You're up leveling because you are loving yourself, which means you're bringing in an up level from any past experience. I'm telling you, it is beautiful. It is same page, same time kind of love. This is not the kind of love that you dealt with in the past that just reflected that self, low self-worth wound. This is love that will reflect the love that you are giving yourself. And I have two other cards here that I didn't look at yet. Composure and harmony and resolution. Yeah, learning how to deal with so your heart is chiming in on the work that you've been doing in your strength position of learning how to really love yourself. And part of loving yourself is keeping yourself in this state of balance, learning how to be in balance and learning how to stay in this meditative state where you're loving yourself, you're loving yourself, you're loving yourself, you're learning how to love yourself in all the ways that you want to be loved. You're learning how to give it to yourself. You're learning how to fill that void. You're learning how to fill your own cup. You're learning how to spend time with yourself and become your, your own best friend and doing all the things that for yourself that you're wanting to receive. And doing so, also, you need to really master the art of composure, keeping your composure, keeping in a meditative state of just focusing on you and not allowing triggers from the outside world. You know, maybe past relationships or, or connections you may be still in. Sometimes they can trigger some of those self-worth wounds, you know. And learning how to overcome that is what you're doing and continuing to just pour into yourself and knowing that when you pour into yourself it's going to be reflected on the outside it's going to be reflected in your relationships and in any other uh, connections with people that even like the grocery store wherever you go you're going to start receiving more love around you from everyone around you the more you love yourself and the less triggers that you will have because you won't be being triggered anymore because you loving yourself and filling that void filling your own cup you don't get triggered anymore I know this because I, I speak from experience so we have harmony and resolution you're you're creating balance you're creating balance in your in your connections you're creating balance in your life you're creating balance in in every area of your life because this can be with romantic connections it can be with friends it can be with siblings it can be in family it can be in your work colleagues or the people that you work with and it like I said can even be like at the grocery store or when you're out and about and you notice that people are smiling at you more you notice that people are looking at you more you notice that people are giving you eye contact because you are giving you the love and it's radiating out from you. Therefore, it is attracting in the match, you know, and it's attracting in balance, attracting in harmony, attracting in love in all, all forms, wherever you go, because of the work that you're doing for yourself, loving and accepting yourself. You are also preparing for 
romance and connection if you are single and if you're in a relationship all that work that you're doing you're going to start noticing if you haven't already a change in your relationship because it always always reflects back to you the work you do on the inside always shows up on the outside it has to go, be done first on the inside and then the outside you'll start noticing changes so comment below and let me know if you've already started noticing changes because this is in your strength position. You are mastering the art of doing the work <laughs> and loving yourself. And this is beautiful. So you're creating more harmony and balance in your relationships, in your life. You're creating less, you know, uh, triggers and stuff with that composure card. You've got a guardian angel here that is with you through this whole process. Whoops. Letting you know that you are not alone. You were guided through this so that you could come to a, you know, a better experience in your life. You were guided to do all this work and it was not easy and it was, it was difficult and it was challenging and some parts were very uncomfortable, right? And they still are, but you had to go through all of that so that you could become stronger and you could become who you are today and and creating a better experience for yourself in all of your relationships and in life in general. But you were guided to do this by a guardian angel who loves you and wants you to succeed. So partly going through all of that, you might have asked, you know, why is this happening to me? Why am I going through all this? Well, some of it was because, you know, there was some stuff on the inside that needed to heal in order to bring you what you asked for so that you could you had to heal so that you could succeed and so it was a gift as hard as some of those times were it was actually a gift and you'll come to a place somewhere down the line if you're not there already you'll come to a place where you can really identify with that and you can actually acknowledge yeah you're right that was a gift I know because like I said I've been there <laughs> I've been going through this and I can actually look back on my darkest days now and see where it was a gift for me and boy I'm telling you I never thought I would ever say that mm -mm. no anyway let's see what is in your challenge position at this time what might you be still working through challenged with in their challenge position. You're still working through some of this. So I see courage and bravery here. And friendship and union. So you may still be working through some of this, but I feel like this is just acknowledging how brave and how courageous this journey has been for you. You are a lot stronger than you think. And you've had to have courage and you've had to be brave and you you know only you know what you've gone through on the inside only you know how shattered you your heart has been and what you've had to revit rebuilt and how much courage it has taken for you to get through what you've gotten through so I feel like for some of you this is a side message that uh, you know your angels want to acknowledge how far you've come and how much it took for you to get here so please know that with that guardian angel card you are not alone and you are you were not alone through any of this even though you felt alone and y your angels are just wanting you to know how strong you really are give yourself a hug part of that self-acceptance is telling you looking yourself in the mirror and telling yourself how amazing you are and how courageous you are and how brave you are and how strong you are look at you you're a survivor you're powerful you're amazing and you need to be told that so if nobody else is recognizing how far you've come and what you've gone through your angels are okay and i am and i want you to also look in the mirror and tell yourself you are amazing do it right now Look in your left eye and tell yourself, I love you. 
you are amazing. Your left eye is the, is the receiving eye, all right? Do that as soon as this reading is over, unless you wanna pause and come back. But in your challenge position, I have take a step back in joy and contentment. So I feel like this is, you've been preparing for like an up level in your relationships. I've got this friendship and union card here and this listen deeply card here. And I feel like part of learning how to love yourself is, you know, it's changing your relationships. So maybe you're learning how to love yourself for the first time so that you can attract a love that is beyond. Maybe you're currently in a situation, a relationship or a connection where you want to attract, you want to get along better. You want to attract more intimacy. You want to attract, attract more closeness. Maybe this is in a friendship as well where you just want, it's like you just want to get along better. You want to have better friendships or, you know, closer, be closer with your friends. Whatever it is, learning how to love and accept yourself can sometimes be a process. There's a process of the in-between, you know, and the in maybe you haven't seen the results yet that you are working towards. And so you're learning how to take a step back, meaning just focusing on you and not on the connection, not on the future love, not on whatever it is. This friendship, family connection, romantic connection, love in general, you're learning how to let go, take a step back, and just really focusing on what makes you happy. And that is a key. That's a key. And it, it's coming from your, your intuition, your guardian angel. So listen, listen to that. Listen to that message when it comes in and tells you just take a step back, focus on you, let go of what you can't control, let go of, of any sort of outcome that you're looking for. Let go. That's your angels and your intuition, your heart telling you to, to let go. And the key is the letting go. Whatever it is that you're wanting to manifest into your world in regards to connections, it's looking like this is about a connection. Um, and like I said, it's any connections, any connections or all connections in your life more love in general learning how to let go and find peace and contentment and joy in your everyday experience like every moment especially if you're feeling triggered say in that moment what can I do right now with the resources that I have that will make me have fun or make me feel happy put a smile on my face make me feel good who can I call that will make me laugh what can I do in this moment to find some joy and contentment? Because that's prioritizing you, that's loving you, that's putting your joy and contentment first, and that is what is bringing the change. So anytime you're triggered, you may be feeling like you've been hearing your heart tell you to take a step back, let go of a situation, because if we try to control an outcome or if we try to control a situation to go fast or slow, I mean, usually fast, right? If we want something to, to speed up or if we, if we are trying to control when someone talks to us or, you know, if you're trying to initiate contact, if you're trying to initiate getting together, if you're the one that is always trying to control a situation or you're trying to control an outcome of a situation, that is only going to always push it away. And that is always a like a, a real-time clue that we need to focus inward. I need to just take a step back and I need to focus on me. Where do I need filling? What, what in me needs to be accepted and loved? What in me needs to find some joy and con contentment and fulfillment right now? What can I do to feel happy, to feel better in this moment with the resources that I have? This doesn't mean that you have to go spend a bunch of money. This means, can I? is there a movie I can watch that will make me laugh? Can I pet my cat, spend time with my kids, go for a walk, hang out with my dog? What will make me feel better? Can I call up a friend that will make me laugh? 
Is there a good book that I can just get lost in that makes me feel good? Whatever it is that you like to do, this may be, because this is coming up in your challenge position, so this is just, you know, I feel like this is guidance for you in those moments when you need, when you're feeling a trigger. It's just a sign for you to take a step back and go inward, and you want to release whatever it is that you've been holding on to that you need to take a step back from, release it. If it's a connection or, or you know, manifesting love, whatever it is. Okay, I'm taking my hands off. I'm going to give it to you, angels, universe. I'm giving it to you, and I'm going to trust that you will turn this into magic. Say those words, and then you take your hands off of it, and you take it off your mind, and you focus on what can I do to bring myself some joy and contentment in this moment when I'm feeling triggered, when I'm feeling lonely, when I'm feeling maybe the lack of what I'm asking for. There you go. So let me know how this how this has resonated for you. I would love to hear from you in the comments below. And uh, well done on loving yourself. Keep doing that. It is your superpower. It is your strength. Keep doing that. And watch your yeses come into play because they are coming. These yeses are your answers to your prayers and seeing the evidence of the things that you have been working so hard on. Loving on yourself, you're going to see more love in your outer experience. You're going to start seeing things unfolding in a different way for you in the coming weeks and months. Your yeses are coming straight from the universe because of this work that you've been doing on the inside. So keep doing it, get ready, and don't forget to tell me in the comments below what your yes is, okay, and how things start unfolding for you, because I always want to know. Feel free to check out the rest of the playlist if, the, if there's anything that jumps out at you. If it resonates for you, it is for you, because these are timeless. I'll see you in the next angel reading, and thank you for being here.